Hello, my name is Ann Brock. Today I'm going to walk you through a scenario around mobile incident handling. Let's first off meet our cast of characters. First up is Jackson. Jackson works for a very large corporation and has a lot of things on his plate. He does many different kinds of product projects, including delivering training. So he's often on the go and he travels around the world. So Jackson absolutely needs IT help anytime, any place, anywhere. Now let's meet Emma. Emma is part of the world-class support organization. She really focuses on making sure IT helps the business. She doesn't want to slow it down, and she always wants her users and her company to be more successful. So mobile incident handling. What if you could improve your end user satisfaction? What if you could provide easy to use mobile access so they can ask questions wherever they are? What about your service desk? Could they be more proactive? answering questions wherever they are. Let's take a look at this. We're starting off in the My IT. Jackson comes in here. Jackson's on the train, right? He's uh, coming from home. He's coming into work. He's on his train. And he remembers that he forgot to put in a ticket. His webmail wasn't working at home. And he didn't have a good way to put a ticket in, so he didn't do it there. But now that he's on his train, he can use his My IT app to go ahead and put in that ticket. You can see there's a lot of other things Jackson can do out here. But today we're going to focus in on putting in a ticket. So Jackson can quickly put in a ticket. Let's say it's going to put in an incident and he can type it in or use having problems with webmail. Or of course he can use Siri to go ahead and put that in. He's going to go ahead and submit this ticket. It's going to go through and through the queue and Jackson can rest easy knowing that his ticket is in there and somebody will be taking a look at it. Well, it so happens that Emma's also commuting. She's on her bus, and she's able to take a look at the queue. She likes to look at things ahead of time, so she's not surprised when she gets to the office. One of the things she can do is look at her broadcast and knows what's going on. She sees that webmail is down. That's a good thing to know. So now she's going to go look at the tickets in the queue and see if there's anything she can help with. Emma is using Salesforce One, which is an app from Salesforce that allows you to see all of your Salesforce activities out here. It's not just about Remedy Force, it's about any Salesforce app you have on the platform. Very robust, very easy to use as well. So Emma comes in here and she sees a top ticket that Jackson's having some trouble with webmail. Having just seen the broadcast, she says, oh, well this is one I can go ahead, put in an answer, get it on its way, and then that's one less thing I have to deal with when I get to the office. So Emma is going to go ahead and attach to the broadcast because when that broadcast closes, all incidents that are related to it will get closed as well. So when Jackson's on his email uh, system at work, he's going to get an email when that broadcast closes. And so he knows that webmail is back up and running when he goes home that night. So Emma's pretty happy with that. She can go back and start looking at the rest of her queue. So what did we show you? We showed you improved end user satisfaction because Jackson was able to get that ticket in, multitask while he's on the train. We showed you a robust and easy to use mobile access, both for the end user using the MyIT app and for Emma using Salesforce One who was able to get a jump on a day and a very proactive service desk. Emma's taking care of Jackson. She, has, she knows what his problem is and he's again going to get alerted when that broadcast is resolved. 